Hi, how are you? you? Hi. President. <laughs> Good to see you. I guess we have to go over here and I sit down and you stand on either side and we'll wait for the thundering curve to come in. Now, read from a carefully prepared script. <laughs> Trying to make it not too obvious. <laughs> These are the lighting checks that the radio Surgery CNN and Barry discovered. We're sort of anxious to leave town or something. Oh, yes. Going out to your estate. You ready? Ready. Cross up, Jim. Bring them in. Things aren't loaded. My notes are up. Hey, Jim. Can we move this mic out of this fence? Yes. The mic. The mic. Mike, not to move the mic's back just a little bit. No. Liz, let me know when you're ready. Can you move it back a little more, Mark? Jim? Okay, can we ask, can we take the microphones off the desk, please? Sorry, Mark. The whole point of this is to deal with the president. Oh, you can hear them. Okay. All right, we're ready, sir. Well, I'm gratified to meet we meet today in the spirit of bipartisan cooperation and agreement about new procedures to govern the approval of notification to Congress of concerning sensitive intelligence activities. I know the letter that I'm giving to each of you reflects serious work, tense work by you and my senior advisors, and I'm most grateful for your efforts. The measure of agreement that's reflected in my letter demonstrates the vital importance that I attach to cooperation between the Congress and the executive branch in the intelligence area, and in this I know we all agree. And I firmly believe that the new procedures we're putting in place will strengthen that cooperation and facilitate the work of your committee in fulfilling its important responsibilities. The procedures address legitimate areas of concern to the Congress and the executive, and they have my full support. So saying, I, I shall deliver the mail. <laughs> Does this mean that you're going to notify all uh, of all covert actions before they take place and on a faster basis than you have in the past? Well, they're going to have a press conference back up in the hill there, and they'll respond there as to. Well, is this all an outgrowth of your big mistakes in the Iran scandal? <laughs> and not, not notifying them about the weapons? Well, I haven't they called them mistakes yet. Mr. President, do you think this obviates the need for Congress to pass any legislation? Well, you were informed, I know, no questions. <laughs> we'll go in and you'll have that then later on. Mr. President, what do you hear about the Central American Peace Plan that Arias negotiated? Okay. This way, please. I just want to thank you.